Hello again, Pokedexers. Pablo from Pokedex here, and today we're going to do some staking on the Pokedex mainnet. So first things first, in order to start staking, you'll need some PDEX on your Pokedex account. You can find our previous video on how to migrate your PDEX from Ethereum to Pokedex in the description below. Once you have your PDEX, you want to go to Network, then Staking, and then go to Account Actions. In Account Actions, we want to create a nominator stash, so you press plus nominator. Here you'll be able to select how much you want to actually stake, and you'll be able to select which account you want to make your stash and which you want to be your controller. It's recommended to have different stash and controller accounts for optimal security purposes as your stash will be where you keep most of your money and should be a mostly offline account, meaning you should really only keep the keys in a piece of paper or somewhere safe uh, and never on the actual internet, whereas your controller will be semi-online and will be determining when you stop validating or start uh, nominating and, and things like that. Either way, since right now there's a 28-day lock on transfers uh, due to security purposes post-migration, you can keep the stash and controller to be the same account uh, because there's no risk of it being transferred anywhere. Once the 28-day transfer lock uh, is over uh, so 28 days after your first migration uh, you can add a different account for controlling and stash all right so let's get on with the migration first you want to select the amount of pdex that you actually want to stake uh, i'm gonna say uh, nine pdex uh, since my balance is 10 and then you want to select uh, what you want to do with the PDEX rewards. Do you want to send them back to your stash account uh, and increase the amount at stake? Uh, do you want to send them to your stash account without increasing the amount at stake? Um, or do you want to send them to your controller account? Or do you want to send them to uh, a specific account of your choice? I want to keep earning more and more PDEX, uh, so I'm going to select it to increase the amount at stake. Once you're ready, click Next and start selecting the validators that you want to nominate with your staked PDEX. You can pick more than one validator, uh, but it's important to pick validators that you trust. So for example, I'm picking Gabe uh, from the Pokedex team because uh, I work with him and a few others as well. If you aren't sure of who you want to nominate with your staked PDEX, feel free to drop into our Discord and ask any question you want to many of the validators who are already on there. So once you've picked all your validators, click Bond and Nominate, and then Sign and Submit the Transaction. Uh, you'll type in your uh, Polkadot.js uh, wallet password. And there you are. Now you're sticking on the Polkadex mainnet, which means you're securing the network and earning interest on your PDEX. You'll see that your nominations show up as waiting. Uh, they're waiting for your validator to be in the validator set for the next era. And if they are selected, they will turn into active nominations. So to see more about validators, you can go to targets and it'll sort validators by lots of different parameters. Uh, it'll also have a kind of a green hand button uh, with the next to the validator that you're nominating with your staked PDEX. Um, but yeah, some of the cool metrics, uh, it sorts by, you know, percentage return, how much stake the validators have, uh, how much of it is their own stake, what their commission is, uh, how many nominations they have, when was their last payout, uh, and they can even add identities to their names uh, to generate more trust or, or to show, you know, who they are. So yeah, those are some of the helpful kind of tools 
uh, or metrics that you can see in the targets page. And at the top, you can see the total uh, amount of PDEX being staked and the average returns. And that's staking on Polkadex. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let us know. Uh, share them in the comments below, uh, and we'll get back to you. We're going to keep making more videos, so stay tuned.